Hopes to find the missing miners alive faded further Tuesday after a second shelter where rescuers had hoped to find the men turned out empty. But Burkina Faso's mining minister said the search would continue. I would like to tell you that the second safety chamber was open before us and well. Unfortunately, despite all our efforts, all our prayers, we found the chamber empty of any human being. It's now been a month since the miners, six Bukinabe, one Zambian and one Tanzanian were trapped at the bottom of the mine after heavy rains caused a flood. Their families, meanwhile, continue the agonizing wait. It is not easy at all. It is a disappointment. But we'll continue to pray and hope to get information about our brothers there. In any case, it's not easy at all. The search is not over. And together with the mine, the government has undertaken to continue the pumping work to look further down, deeper into the bowels of the earth, to see if our brothers, our eight brothers, have been able to find a refugee other than the one we hoped they would find. No contact has been made with the missing man. The Pokoa mine, which is located about 100 kilometers west of Ouagadougou, is operated by Trevally Mining, a Canadian company. The miners' families have filed a case of attempted manslaughter against the farm. 